Hey, what's up guys? So about three weeks to like a month ago, we got the complete phase four slate, which will be lasting for two years and be comprised of 11 projects. 10 of them have been revealed so far. I believe this week at D23, another project will be revealed and I guess more details on the projects that were already announced. But I want to give my predictions for phase five in this video, because honestly, to me, and I know there's a contingent of people out there that while they did enjoy seeing some of these new properties for phase four, they felt it was a little bit lackluster and I feel the exact same way and I can understand I mean just this year alone Marvel Studios got the rights back to Deadpool the Fantastic Four the X-Men some of the greatest characters and most popular franchises in the world and we didn't see anything of that and honestly I don't think we're gonna get to see X-Men until phase six but I'll touch on the X-Men in phase six later in this video I want to keep this mainly phase five stuff and the predictions for phase five which I believe will be from 2022 to 2024 and and more so, I think some of the reasons that Marvel didn't announce any of the Fox franchises was because they had been planning all the ones that were announced for some time. Also, there was the chance that this whole Fox deal wouldn't go through the very slim chance, but it did. So I'm sure they had all these things loaded up and they could change them at a moment's notice. But I'm almost positive that Marvel wanted to give these properties a break since Fox just absolutely desecrated the X-Men and the Fantastic Four. And honestly, I feel like phase four is kind of like the household name phase or the Guardians phase. If you guys remember Phase 2, one of the new franchises that was announced was the Guardians of the Galaxy. And nobody really knew who the Guardians of the Galaxy were. They were fairly obscure. As far as comics goes, if you were really deep into comics, then you probably knew about them. But the general population did not know about the Guardians of the Galaxy. I didn't even know who the Guardians of the Galaxy was. And now the Guardians of the Galaxy is like my favorite MCU franchise. Star-Lord is my favorite character in the MCU. I mean, everybody knows I am Groot. It's a household name at this point. So that's what I believe they are doing with with phase four. They're trying to get all these properties that they have and put them in the limelight so people see how good they are. That way they can make all these properties successful. They can sell more comics. So I want to talk about some of the projects that I believe will be coming out in phase five. And I think phase five will last from 2022 to 2024 and we'll get about nine movie projects. And I think we'll get a little handful of Disney Plus series as well. I don't know if the series that have been announced will have different seasons or they're just kind of one and done series, but I'll give you some of the series that I personally want to see and I think we have a chance of actually seeing. So in 2022, I think it's pretty obvious that Black Panther 2 is coming and I personally can't wait. A lot of talk about Namor actually realistically being the villain, like confirmed villain status for Black Panther 2 has been overwhelming. So I think it's pretty safe to say, at least for now, even though it's still so far away that we will be seeing Namor in Black Panther 2 and I absolutely can't wait. I can't wait to see MCU Atlantis. I want it to be like miles different from what we saw in the DCU with Aquaman, even though I really liked Atlantis in Aquaman, but I want to see something different. I think that MCU Atlantis should be Asgard from Thor 1, like all golden and ethereal, but underwater, of course. So I'm looking forward to that and Namor as an anti-hero. Just, I think he'll be a tremendous character. I've also heard that there was rumors that The Rock was going to be announced as Namor, which I am not for. I heard rumors of Henry Golding who's going to be playing Namor, and I think he would be a perfect cast. I think he just got hired to be Snake Eyes, so I don't know if he'd be able to do two. Honestly, I think Storm has a high chance of being in the movie as well. Maybe they'll sprinkle some X-Men in some of the properties in Phase 4 and set them up. I can see that happening in Doctor Strange 2 and in this movie as well, especially with Storm and Namor. I just have some feeling that Namor's gonna try to sink Atlantis or turn Wakandans or just surface dwellers into Atlanteans. Something I read in The Invaders recently. And of course, I think the other obvious movie would be Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, maybe in like a May or July date. It has been put on hold, so I'm assuming we're gonna get it as soon as possible in Phase 5. It is confirmed that Thor Love and Thunder is actually gonna take place before Guardians Volume 3, so I'm wondering how that whole As Guardians of the Galaxy thing is going to play out, if it will even play out, because a lot of my speculations in my previous videos that I made have been with Thor actually being a part of the Guardians, which honestly, it would kind of detract from the Guardians story. Totally badass if he popped in. I think since Blade has already been talked about, we already have a logo for it as well that it would be coming out extremely soon. And I think November will be a great time to release Blade. It's right near Halloween time. You get the whole vampire aesthetic, horror movie aesthetic. I just can't wait for Blade to expand upon the supernatural side of the MCU. I think with Doctor Strange 2, it's definitely going to set up the ground for Blade. Mystical entities like Chiton, like one of the crazy primal entities that made way for vampires. And I just can't wait to see Blade and vampires being confirmed in the MCU. It just seems like they could do so much with that. Now, starting off 2023, I think Captain Marvel is inevitable. I think it'll probably be the first movie of 2023. And I'm looking forward to a better Captain Marvel movie. Hopefully, Carol will go up against somebody that will 
actually give her a challenge. Maybe she'll actually fight her villain this time. And I would love to see that kind of a battle. But ultimately, I want to see a more vulnerable Carol. I want to see her be more human, like she is human. I also want to see badass stuff like her smashing through spaceships again. I hope this sequel spends more time in space with Carol. Maybe she's visiting different planets. It was rumored that either Korvac or the Silver Surfer was going to be the villain for her movie. And honestly, guys, I want to see the Silver Surfer in the MCU as soon as possible. So I made a video about it and I'm hoping he is in Captain Marvel 2. And I think he would be the perfect villain for Captain Marvel 2. I think he could be that villain that just overpowers her and makes her be more resourceful. And we can see a better side to Carol in that sequel if she goes up against somebody that she can't just walk through. Next, I think this is when the Fox property should enter in 2023. The second movie, I believe, should be Deadpool 3, guys. I think if any Fox property should be coming into the MCU, the first one should be Deadpool 3. He could usher in mutants. There's any number of ways for Deadpool to enter the MCU just seamlessly and probably hilariously at that. And by this time, it'd probably be like five years since we got Deadpool 2. So it's about time for a sequel. Ryan Reynolds isn't getting any younger. And I want to see him back. I want to see the interactions. I want to see the jokes he's going to be making about Captain Marvel or Black Panther or Iron Man. Just whoever. I, I just can't wait to see the banter. I think the action is going to take a little hit if they do make it PG-13. But if they keep it rated R, which I think would be amazing, I don't think they should change anything with Deadpool. Just throw MCU characters at Deadpool and he will just eviscerate them with his jokes and the banter would just be insane. So I think that would be likely to happen in 2023. I think Ant-Man 3 is likely. I know most of the talk around Ant-Man 3 has been that it's being shelved for a later time, but Kevin Feige has said that there's going to be future adventures in the quantum realm, which doesn't necessarily mean an Ant-Man sequel, but I would absolutely love to see it. And I think a lot of people would love to see it. I know Ant-Man and the Wasp wasn't the best movie. I had a lot of problems with it. And also I heard that the actress Emma Furman, the girl who plays growing up Cassie Lang in Endgame, met with Andy Park about a stature costume. So anything could happen. And now the last year for phase five, I think the three movies that would be coming out in no particular order, Nova, I want to see the decimation of Xandar. I think that would be the perfect way to open up a Nova movie. I think that's a character that can greatly expand the cosmic side of the MCU. 2024 is the year that the Fantastic Four, Marvel's first family, deserves a good movie. And I think that we'll get that with Marvel Studios. I have no doubt in my mind that they'll pick the right director. I know Peyton Reed has a kind of hit or miss track record, but I think he could do a very good job with the tone of the first family. I would honestly like to see them go up against like a mole man for their first outing, but keep Doom in the background. I want Latveria to be established. I want her be in the movie, throw him in there. I want to see the first family in full effect. We need serious redemption for the, just the desecration of this franchise over the past, what, 20 years that the movies have been coming out. The next movie would I think be an Avengers, Dark Avengers, Young Avengers, New Avengers. I think the last movie for 2024 would be an Avengers movie. But I think after that, first movie of phase six would have to be X-Men. And apart from that, some of the Disney Plus series I can totally see happening would be Moon Knight. Everybody wants to see Moon Knight, especially now with Blade in the MCU. I think by this time, we're going to need to bring back the Defenders, guys. Daredevil for sure, Luke Cage for sure, Iron Fist and Jessica Jones. I love Jessica Jones, didn't really like Iron Fist. We'll see what happens with them, but I think those two characters, Luke Cage and Daredevil, if not those two, then just Daredevil. And it, it really sucks because everything that happened with Netflix, that show was so damn good. I wish he would be the one to return. And I think anything's possible at this point. And if I'm really reaching on a Doom series that explores while he was a youth in Latveria, hopefully the series could cap with him meeting Reed Richards in college. Those are the Disney Plus series that I hope we get to see. But yeah, guys, those are my predictions for phase five. And I think phase six, the first movie should be X-Men. I'm very excited. I don't know what's going to happen at D23. Let me know what you guys thought of my predictions of my personal phase five slate and my picks for the Disney Plus series that I want to see. Let me know what you want to see for phase five and phase six and when you want to see the Fox properties pop up in the MCU. Like, and what do you want to see out of those properties? And I know there's been a lot of news about Spider-Man and I'm going to make a Spider-Man video in the future. I'm not too worried. It sucks. I'll explain everything in the video. We'll see what happens. If I missed anything or if I got anything wrong, please let me know. And that's pretty much it. If you like the video, leave me a thumbs up, comment down below. And if you want to subscribe, I always appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.